Hey there, this is Jamarcus here, and in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating on how to perform an ECG, aka the electrocardiogram. Let's get it started. So what is an ECG? What is an EKG? An electrocardiogram, or ECG, is a reading assessing the magnitude and direction of the electrical currents of the heart, measuring the depolarization and repolarization of the cardiac muscle cells. What's the purpose? The purpose of an ECG includes the identification of various pathological conditions, such as an MI, chest pains, dysrhythmias, obtaining a baseline ECG for later comparison, for example, prior to surgery, or a routine comparison of current electrical activity of the heart of a condition is identified. There are 10 leads used in a 12-lead EKG. 10 leads provide 10 views of the heart. First, confirm the patient identity explain the procedure to the patient, and obtain consent from the patient. Be sure that the environment is at a comfortable warm temperature for the patient, and this will also prevent muscular tension on movements, producing artifacts on the ECG recording. Make sure that you remain patient privacy and dignity through closing the room door or even drawing around the curtains. The patient should remove jury. This can help reduce electrical interference and then perform hand hygiene. The patient should be in a supine position with all limbs supported and exposed chest. No muscular work should be required on the patient's behalf to maintain the position that they are in. You want to prepare the skin if the skin is dirty and clean the skin with soap and water. Patients with chest hair should have hair at the electrode placement sites removed. Use an alcohol to clean each electrode place site. The angle of Louis method. First, we're going to start at that sternal notch, if that's in between those clavicles. And then we're going to go right between that sternum, where that angle of Louis is, and that's where our electrodes are going to go. We have V1, which is at that fourth intercostal space, right margin of the sternum. We have V2, which is fourth intercostal space along the left margin of the sternum. We have V4, which is fifth intercostal space, midclavicular line. We have V3, which is midway between V2 and V4, and then V5, which is at the anterior axillary line, fifth intercostal space, and then V6, which is at the fifth intercostal space, mid-axillary line, same level as V4. Ensure that the limb electrodes are symmetrically placed, right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg. Connect the leads to the electrodes. Calibrate the ECG machine and obtain the ECG trace. Remove the electrodes in gel clean equipment, and dispose of electrodes and document. So first things first, you want to gather your supplies. Um, I have gathered some electrode stickers. These are the stickers that's going to actually stick on that patient's skin. Next, I have also gathered some alcohol prep pads, and this is going to help you to cleanse that top layer of that skin of any dirt, any excess oil, creams, or lotions that may be applied to the skin. Also, I want you to note that if you had a patient that had hair on their chest, it may be good to cut or trim off some of that hair off the chest because you want to make sure that when you place these electrode stickers on that patient, you want to make sure that it's properly on the skin and not so much on the hair. If it's attached to the hair, it's going to cause some artifacts on the EKG lead and it's just going to cause uh, those artifacts not to read correctly. And so you want to make sure that if you had a patient that had hair on their chest, that you do need to trim that hair. Okay, so let's start. Uh, before we, we start, we have to know our anatomical locations and landmarks so that we can find those intercostal spaces. And so I'm going to start up here at something that is called the sternal notch. And literally, that's exactly what it is. It's a sternal notch, which is located right between the clavicles. If you can see this, you can see that little hump right there. So I'm going to take my finger, and I'm going to go down this sternum right here. And this is actually called the angle of Louis, or some people even call it the angle of Louis. And this is where we're going to start putting our EKG leads. And so here we are in that protrusion. We're in that small clump. And V1 is actually going to go to the right of the sternum. Okay. So when we're right here, we're going to just take our finger and just go to the right. And we're going to find ourselves right here, which is actually in the second intercostal space. Now, I want you to note that V1, it will not be in the second intercostal space. But V1 is actually going to be in the fourth intercostal space, which will be right margin of the sternum. And so we're right here at our second intercostal space. And so I'm going to start here at this prominence, two, three, and 
then four. And this is our fourth intercostal space, and this is exactly where V1 is going to be located at. So I'm going to get my EKG lead, and I'm going to place V1 right in this area. Okay. So fourth intercostal space, right margin of the sternum. So for V2, we're actually going to be uh, right next to where V1 is, but instead of V2 being on the right margin of the sternum, V2 is actually going to be on the left margin of the sternum. And so we're going to start in that second intercostal space. We're going to go two, three, four, and that's exactly where that second EKG lead is going to go. Okay, V1 is at the fourth intercostal space, which is the right margin of the sternum. And then V2 is at the fourth intercostal space along the left margin of the sternum. Okay, let's keep going. So I'm going to go to v V4 instead of V3, and I'm going to show you before we get there. When you begin to look at V4, V4 is located in the fifth intercostal space in that midclavicular line. Okay, and so that midclavicular line is an invisible line right here along the breastbone, and it's going right down, right where that nipple lining is. And that is our fifth intercostal space. And so we're actually going to start in our second intercostal space, and we're going to count down. So we have two, we have three, we have four, and five. Okay. So that fifth intercostal space, which is right below that nipple, that is exactly where V4 is going to go. So we're going to take our stick here place it right under that nipple lining, and that's exactly where V4 is going to be located, okay? So let's start over. So we have V1, we have V2, and then we have V4. We have V1, which is at the fourth intercostal space, which is at the right margin of the sternum, and then we have V2, which is at the fourth intercostal space along the left margin of the sternum, and then we have V4, which is at that fifth intercostal space and it's in that midclavicular line, which is right below that nipple lining. Okay? So let's keep going. We're going to go to V3. V3 is actually going to be located midway between V2 and V4, right in this middle space. That's where your V3 sticker or V3 lead is going to be located at. So we're going to take this V3, and again, it's going to be midway between V2 and V4. We have V1, V2, V3, and V4. V1, right margin of the sternum. V2, left margin of the sternum. We have V4 at that fifth intercostal space in that midclavicular line right below that nipple lining. And then we have V3, which is midway between V2 and V4. So let's go to V5. V5 is going to be at that fifth intercostal space, just like V4, but instead of being at that midclavicular line, just how we see V4 right up under that nipple, V5 is actually going to be in that fifth intercostal space, but it's going to be anterior axillary. So lastly, we're going to do V6, and V6 is actually located in that fifth intercostal space, just like the other leads that we mentioned, but this time, this V6 lead is actually going to be located at the same level as V4. Instead of it being at the anterior axillary line, this V6 lead is actually going to be at the fifth intercostal space at the mid-axillary line, which will be right here, almost at the same line of going right up under that armpit. So V6, fifth intercostal space, and it's going to go to the mid-axillary line, which is the same level as V4. So this is actually going to go right here. And that is our EKG lead placement. So we have V1, V2, V4, V3, V5, and V6. V1 is at that fourth intercostal space, right margin of the sternum. We have V2 that's at that fourth intercostal space along the left margin of the sternum. We have V4, which is at the fifth intercostal space, that midclavicular line right up under that nipple lining. And then we have V3, which is midway between V2 and V4, which is V3. We have 
our V5 at the fifth intercostal space, and it's at that anterior axillary line. And then V6, it will be at that fifth intercostal space at that mid axillary line. And that is our EKG lead placement. Thank you for watching the video.